Hey there again, Erica Swarthy Daisy here. Quick video on virtual reunion ideas. In this video, we'll look at how to plan a virtual family reunion, but the same ideas or similar ideas can be applied to a class reunion. The first step in planning a virtual reunion is to choose a platform. There are different types of video conferencing platforms out there, so it depends on the needs of your event. Will you choose Zoom, which is most popular, or will you go with a free option such as Facebook Messenger Rooms? The next step is to choose a theme. When I've hosted family reunions in person in the past, I've had different types of themes, including the most recent, which was a beach theme. So whatever you feel like your audience would enjoy, you can go ahead and set the theme for the virtual event so that you can build up anticipation as well as hype around the event. The third step is to choose a logo. The logo is a visual representation of the event, so make sure to choose one that can be used for multiple purposes. The fourth step involves communication. Here is where you will need to gather the guests, emails, social media handles, as well as phone numbers. This will help you when you need to send out the invitations, as well as post updates on social media, as well as additional updates via text messages. The fifth step involves registration. Here you will need to choose a platform for your guests to register. I've used Google Forms in the past, but you can also use different websites and embed a registration widget within it. The sixth step is create a flyer. Here is where you will create a flyer to help share the event with your guests as well as spread the news about the event. Number seven, collect payments. There are lots of digital platforms that you can use to collect payments, so that would make registration and paying a lot easier for a virtual event. The eighth step is t-shirts and merch. Here's where the logo comes back into play because you can use the logo to place it onto t-shirts and other merchandise such as mugs and keychains that you can actually sell to your guests. The ninth step is fundraising. Here's where you can recoup the money from any fees that you might have spent out of pocket to help plan the event. Some ideas include, like mentioned, selling merchandise, or you can also host an online raffle. Step 10 is the souvenir booklet or program. Here you can use the souvenir booklet or program to highlight the entire event, or you can use it as a fundraising opportunity as well. Here's a sample event outline. Friday night, you can conduct an online family game night. I'll make sure to link my Zoom games playlist in the description box below. On Saturday, you can host a family virtual barbecue. This will give the guests an opportunity to show off their barbecuing skills. On Sunday, you can host a virtual family brunch. During the brunch, you can conduct activities such as Q&A or family interviews. If you would like to learn more details about the ideas that were shared in this video, make sure to check the description box below for the link to my Teachers Pay Teachers store. This ebook goes into more detail and gives more specific information about planning a virtual family reunion or a virtual class reunion. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to leave a comment if you like the ideas shared in this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel as well as hit the bell for notifications as well as share this video with friends and family. Have fun.